Hi, my name's Jennifer and I'm a member of Assist 77, our Summit County peer support team. It's been brought to my attention from your command staff that you guys have been going through an ongoing difficult um, situation and scenario. I just wanted to reach out to let you guys know that everything you're going through, while it may seem difficult, the most important thing you can do right now is to take care of yourself. So some of the things that we recommend is make sure you're eating and drinking. Um, I know it sounds silly, but one of the first things to go when you're stressed is not eating and drinking. Please take some water and some snacks with you if you have to go back out or go home and have a meal with your family. Um, speaking of family, they're gonna be the biggest support you have going on through this critical incident. And speaking to them in as much detail as you can um, is sometimes helpful. Those people at home wanna know that you're okay, but they also wanna know what's going on. So you might wanna spare them some details, but at least let them know what you're going through at work. If you don't feel comfortable talking to a family member, I want you to reach out to a friend. That friend could be a peer support member. Um, anybody who's trained on ASSIS 77 is covered under the Ohio Revised Code, which says that we have privileged communication as peer supporters, so anything you say to a peer supporter cannot be called to testify in a court of law. One of the things I also want you to keep in mind is that if you are feeling anxious, stressed, guilty, angry, um, afraid, any kind of feelings right now, totally normal. What you're going through is a critical incident. And what we want you to know is that anything that you're feeling right now is probably okay, unless you're having thoughts of harming yourself or somebody else. Um, we really wanna make sure that you're taking care of yourself throughout this incident. So please, 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 not only hydrate yourself, drink water, maybe throw some Gatorade in there as well, um, stop for meals. Make sure if you have time to sleep, you're sleeping. Make sure that we're not picking up extra overtime during this unless it's mandated. Um, and just please take care of yourself first. Next, make sure that we're taking care of our family because I know that the loved ones at home can usually go to the wayside, but they're also one of our biggest supports. So please take care of yourself first. Keep that mask on yourself before we're putting it on anybody else. And then your family comes next. Third, this department. I know that might sound crazy right now because you guys are probably here more than you want to be, but the department needs to come third because you're no good to this department if you aren't taking care of yourself and those who care for you as well. Um, if you're feeling like, hey, maybe this isn't me, she's not talking about me right now. If you're not feeling anything, that's totally normal too. We just want you to know that over the next few days, few weeks, few months, some feelings might creep in and our peer support team is here to help you. So if you wanna reach out, I'm gonna leave my phone number here with you. I also brought these cards. Um, there's a lot of resources on here for you guys. Uh, obviously, you guys know to call 911 in case of an emergency, but there's also 24 seven numbers on here in case you wake up in the middle of the night and aren't feeling the greatest and just want somebody to talk to. That's also why I wrote my name on this card in my phone number so that you can call me too. I am a solid sleeper, so I highly recommend that if you're going to call me, you call me before 10 a.m. or 10 a.m., 10 p.m. or call the peer support number Adam on the back of this card. He's up later than I am. But the great part about these cards is they fit in your pocket. It has all of our information on it for peer support and Assist 77, as well as nationwide resources that are available to you all the time. Um, if you're one of those people that's like, you know what, I'm totally fine. This is just another day in the office. At least put it in your pocket for somebody else who might need help because God forbid you be out there on a call and one of your partners has had it. At least you have it for them. You can give them the resources they might need to get help. Um, I am going to turn it back over to your command staff here. They're going to go through who's being released and who is going back out. So if you guys have any questions, um, there are five of us here from Assist 77. Again, if you talk to any of us, 
That is privileged communication in the state of Ohio, so it cannot be called to court for testimony. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know. If not, I'm gonna turn it right back over to command staff. Thank you.